One Zambia. 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 Je chukua hicho na pempa wa right msoma kuti wakambe on behalf of other opposition political parties that are represented here. President Musoma sir. Thank you very much Mr. President. Mwebe na Zambia na tote la sana. Limo kutu wa shofi wa kurandanga chakwewa ti awa tangirile na wakulisha. Kutuwa alanda nga wafi ala njiru mkala mbati na chepa sana. Inecho ninga mikose le shako fumwewa na wako alisa. Chakwewa kwewa ati. Hapa linshi mfewa we mbatu la ndati. Nishepa linshi. Uchi. Epa linshi. Uchi. Bapi efu mwila la weko mwafuma. Ichiwe mbati la ndati. Akama na kalave nturo kala kama. I am a problem ya leisa. Nangu kukupaka swa mule paka swa. Teno mba kwa amba. At one time mwalishle luzinga na ma emu pizi 22. Awantua eva itapale kovaleya. But you still stood strong until you formed government. If you expected that ichile mana yu PNG they will never persecute you. Then you were gravely mistaken. But inshallah, and depend to tema politics to repo. Mwale tuweva limbeto ni ngalanda kofe, bandi wale tuwevo kweva ati. Ababa, vahi safe mkuja lupi haba amona. Tuwevele awe, tefo tuwa wabo nse. Ifwe, Tualisho wa PF, mulichipani chilo lekesha pava la nda. Nemi mbele yenu, ila moneka. Yeah. Yeah. It's not a secret, mwalipa ngile miso, mwalipa ngile vipatala, mwalenta na malaiti, mwapuisha. Umjasa mbalogu wa wepo kwa nifo tupuisha loti sheti. Mwaisa wa goma timite mbo ya bunge vya mbo kwa vipatula te... Quand Intungu shika tupela lita. Ifu wenga na tuikala, ifu wenga ba opposition. What about you, imamuwa wali mukati? Eh, you think us were stupid? Uh -huh. Ni itina tuishu wakwa wati 2026, mulevuela. Zati yeah. mungja leko, kutika, kwa 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 one Zambia. Your Excellency, the sixth Republican President of Zambia, Dr. Edgar Chagwalungu. Mr. Mulenga Sata representing the Sata family. The national chair chairpersons of the party. Honorable Mpankata and Honorable Jean Kapata, the Honorable Secretary General of the party and your deputy. May I simply recognize all members of the Central Committee. I want to also recognize provincial chairpersons and all committee members of all provinces represented here. I have noticed we have not only Lusaka, we have Central Province, we have Northern Province, and I'm sure we have other provinces represented here. Let me recognize all district officials from various districts, constituency officials, and let me just say my fellow party cadres. Choyamba, I want to join Honorable Nixon Chilangwa, 
for apologizing for keeping you waiting for such a long time. We are very sorry that we kept you waiting. But we have seen that the spirit of Michael Chirukyasata still lives in all of us. If there is something that can be learned from President Michael Chirufiasata, it is his patience. Patience with people. And today all of you have shown that you have patience with us. And I want to thank you most sincerely. We heard many words being spoken in church by the priest, but also by the five people who delivered the prayers of the faithful. They all spoke one or another word about Michael Chirufiasata. The one who was best placed to speak at length about the legacy of Michael Chirufiasata, about his illustrious political career, about how he fatherly guided us, is here, President Edgar Chagwalumu. <laughs> You remember that last year, this day, President Edgar Chagwalungo delegated me to speak on his behalf. This year, President Edgar Chagwalungo has not only been asked by the people, has not only been asked by us, his lieutenants, but the spirit has moved him that he also today shall speak. <laughs> My dear brothers and sisters, my fellow citizens, wherever you are watching us from, allow me that before I call the sixth Republican president, the successor of Michael Chirufiasata, to come and speak to us, let me say a few words, let me make a few reflections about Michael Chirufiasata about this day and about the party that was founded by Michael Chirufiasata. As all of us will remember, today marks four days since the infamous state-organized and state-sponsored illegal conference that was held under heavy police security and protection at the Mulungwishi International Conference Center on Independence Day. Four days before the commemoration of the ninth anniversary of the founder of this party, some people using state power decided to stage a totally illegal assembly under the watch of the ones who should maintain law and order. I have seen some online publications running a headline saying, given Lubinda and team concede defeat. In case last night I said anything that led to that impression, I want to say I regret it. I regret it because Make no mistake, my fellow countrymen and women, make no mistake. There is no way that we can concede defeat arising from an illegal function which did not have the blessings of the party and in which no party member attended. There is no way that we can concede defeat. That was not a function of the Patriotic Front because there was no member of the Patriotic Front that attended it. That function was not sanctioned by the Central Committee. And for the time being, 
the Central Committee members, all of them, all of them, without exception, shunned that illegal assembly. As a matter of fact, the person who convened it is a person who was serving two suspensions. Not one, but two suspensions. How can a person who has been suspended give themselves the authority to arrange a meeting for the organization that has suspended him? Like we all heard in church, and like we are all already aware, Mr. Michael Chirufiasata fought for Zambia's multi-party democracy. It is that multi-party democracy which is being threatened by what happened four days ago. I have stated before that the insatiable appetite for dictatorship by one BMW is there for everybody to see. Make no mistake, we are living in a time when multi-party democracy is at a threat. It is threatened. As such, my dear citizens, all of us who are followers of Michael Chirufiasata, all of us who cherish multi-party democracy, all of us who aspire for peace and tranquility, and indeed, all of us Zambians, I say to you, time has come. Time has come for us to leave our comfort zones yes. Yes. and rise against the forces of one party state. Yes. Time has come for us to leave our comfortable shoes but put on boots. Time has come for us to reduce the hours that we sleep. Time has come for us to stand up and be counted. Time is here for all of us to rise and say no to dictatorship. Say no to neo-imperialism. And say no to a syndrome of a one-man government. Zambia was founded by the Brit not only to get rid of imperialism, they vote for every Zambian to have a say in the governance of this country. Yes. President Kenneth David Kaunda, one of the liberators of this country, one of the... We stood up to defend our democracy. That democracy has survived. Chiluba, it survived. Manawasa, it survived Rupia Banda, survived Michael Chilufiasata, survived Edgar Chagualungu, and now it is under threat under Haga in the Ejel. All of us, my dear fellow countrymen and women, are aware how one dictator BMW gets heated up when he hears the slogan We know We know how agitated he becomes in Gaumfomalando Kutila Alewelapo. He even asks, he asks, 
Allez, vous la popée, ça, toi, dit qu'à la pocale. I said, rise. Zambians, rise to defend your democracy. Let us remind Haga Inde Hijilema that he is the seventh president, he's not the first. This means that that seat he's sitting on, others were there and they left. The truth of the matter is that he too will leave one day. Your Excellency, as the man who is holding the fort for the time being in the patriotic front, I want to encourage all of us to expand the slogan of Alebwe de la Now the slogan should be, because he's asking us not to ikalakale, the slogan must change. The slogan now must be Alewe la po pantuiwe ulef mapo. Bossi! Alewe la po! Alewe la po! Rise for democracy, Pierre. Youths of Zambia, rise for democracy. Women of Zambia, rise for democracy. Zambians, rise for democracy. Alebuele la po. Alebuele la po. Tandule fumapo. Alebuele la po. Ladies and gentlemen. The fight, the fight starts, the now. fight started last night, and let's make sure that we conquer. We in the patriotic front leadership are not going to give up. We cannot give up the spirit that Michael Chilufia Sata put in us. We shall defend the patriotic front. If it means with our blood, we are ready. Let us defend the patriotic front. We miss this opportunity. I can assure you, it will take 27 years before we go back to the patriotic front. Let us defend the future of our country. Allow me to seize this rare opportunity to call upon the Sixth Republic of the Republic. Let us all rise.
preceded by some ugly scenes, painted by some of our members, as you have already heard. Their maneuvers are a clear attempt to assault the mighty patriotic front, whose political leadership is Sata entrusted on me and my colleagues to be stewards. I have been quiet. Yes. From the time, from the time I peacefully handed over and willingly handed over power by Brother Higainde Hichilema, who is now in State House. But I've been watching closely matters of governance and developing the country. Yes, I've been watching very closely matters of governance and the political activity in the country. I am saying that it is not difficult for any well-meaning Zambian to notice that recent events in our party PF have been instigated by those in government who appear determined to keep democracy in Zambia for selfish reasons. I have been watching. But let me put on record today, now, yes. here, yes. that for as long as I live, yes. I will not allow the peace to die. political party in power. Therefore, I will not permit that once I'm alive, the PF is destroyed under my watch. No, I don't know. I will not allow whether like it or not, I will not allow. Just like I will not allow the patriot front to die, I will also not allow factions within the party. Yeah. I will also not allow opportunistic individuals to destroy the party. Yeah. Hear this. Therefore, after a careful and deep reflection and right consultation, including prayer, Following naked air force by those in power to annihilate the biggest opposition party PF in Zambia today, the PF, using the students and institutions of governance, I have decided to return to activity. Yeah.
Yes, come along, guys. Come along, guys. Come along. Yes, come along. We are here, Your Excellency. Yes. Hello. I'm telling you. Hello. 